Hello viewers, uh, we have been discussing MCQ for our MA in English entrance test. So in today's video, we will discuss a new question and we will try to find out its answer. And if you have idea about the answer, then you can uh, give a comment. But after some time, I will reveal the answer anyhow. But then too, for your own confidence, you can say that. You can do that. So the first question is, which narrative poem by Lord Tennyson presents the story of fisherman turned merchant sailor who after a shipwreck is marooned on a desert island? So this kind of question is very tough, tricky question, because if you don't know the answer, then you don't know. You cannot use any kind of creativity. And in most of the exams, in, including MA in English entrance test and NET, SLAT, this kind of question will come for sure. So that's why you have to prepare questions like this also and that you will get by uh, go, if you go through the last year paper of net okay so which one will be the correct answer if you know then please comment hmm? number three is the correct answer this one what yes n of arden this is the correct answer number second in memorial verses matthew arnold pays tribute to three great poets who are they so there is a book called memorial verses and there writer matthew arnold has paid tribute to the great three points and who are they one number uh, number one number two number three number four four options are given now you have to find out the one so if you know then please comment okay now let me give you the answer so correct answer is number four that is Gothi, Wordsworth and Byron these three writers of oh, sorry poets the writer Matthew Arnold has included or tributed paid tribute in his book memorial verses number three who among the following English playwrights wrote screenplays on novels such as Marcel Proust, In Search of Lost Time, John Fowell's Friends, Lieutenant's Woman, and Margaret Atwood's Handsman's Tale? So, which one will be the correct one? I will repeat the question. Who among the following English playwrights wrote screenplays on novels such as Marcel Proust, In Search of Lost Time, John Fowell's Friends, Lieutenant's Woman, and Margaret Atwood's Handsman's Tale? Okay. You can... Uh, write in the comment section. The correct one will be number three, Harold Pinter. Harold P. Pinter, he is a great writer. If you don't know about him, you have to know. And I have also uh, made a series of a history of English literature from uh, anglo sikh Saxon, Old English to the present day, modernism. If you haven't, if you have not gone through it, then you have to do it. Uh, there you will get many writers, many famous and uh, well-known writers that you should know. And uh, from their work, many questions are created and asked in many exams. Now let's go on. Number four, the years in English literary history between 1649 and 1660 are known as. So which will be the correct one? This also I have made a video. The years in English, lit the years in English literary history between 1649 and 1660. So which, will, uh, which one will be the correct one? Answer is number two, the Commonwealth period is known as, uh, is between 1649 to 1660. Number five, in R.K. Narayan's Swami and Friends, which game offers Swami the best kind of emotional release from the strains and pressures of disagreeable circumstances? So which one will the correct one? Cricket, football, tennis, hockey. If you know, then you know. So uh, R.K. Narayan is one of the greatest writers of Indian English writing. And this I have already talked in my English literature history. So you have to also go through it the correct one is number one cricket okay number six william black expressed the importance of the particular when he said that to generalize is to be so what will be the correct answer in the film in the given blank to particularize is the alone distinction of merit fill in the blank you can think you can have a you can give it a try. So which one will be the correct one? Correct answer is an idiot. Okay. This one will be the correct one. And the answer will be William Black expressed uh, the importance of the particular when he said that to generalize is to be an idiot. To particularize is the alone distinction of merit. Okay. Number seven. Which of the following was not a dialect of old English? This also I have talked in my that video series. Four options are given, Irish, North Umbrian, Martian, and Kentis. So which one will be the correct one? Give it a try. Irish is the correct answer. This Irish was not a dialect of old English. Number eight. Number eight we will discuss in our upcoming videos. Thank you so much.